from the cabana <laughs> in nice and warm Southern California. It's the Suzanne oh. Summer Show, and here she is. <laughs> oh, I have Mark. You can clap too. I can have three clapping today. Woo! Yeah, this is the biggest audience I've had. Three people clapping. Hi, everybody. Well, we uh, uh, heard from so many of you that you were distracted by the lizards at Big Al's bar. <laughs> and it would come up every show, and more and more people watching the lizards than m us, I don't know. And we decided, let's give them a whole new look. And here we are at the pool cabana here. This is the heart of our home here, that we've been here for 45 years. Drink it in. It Isn't it beautiful? Like it's so beautiful. You know, um, let me tell you a little bit about this house now that you're looking at this uh, sensational view. When we bought this house 45 years ago, the first thing we were going to do, because I was young and didn't get it, was take out this little dinky pool and put in a big Olympic-sized pool, <laughs> and then we were going to tear all the buildings down, or I was, and put up, you know, modern, modern rooms until... We spent a little time here. This house has had three owners. The first owner was a guy by the name of, of Wright Luddington, who was gay. And I mention that only because imagine how hard it was to be gay in the 20s. And he built this private place up here so that he could live in his life in privacy. And that's why it's nestled up here in the hills. And then he lived here for 20 years. And then Kay and Louis Benoit, who owned Al 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 Almaden Wineries, bought it from uh, Wright Luddington. And it's interesting because uh, Louis is from Canada and Kay was from San Francisco. They lived here for 20 years and then they sold it to us. Alan is from Canada and I am from San Francisco. And Alan and I have now been here 45 years. So I guess we've been here the longest. But it is, it is a, it's just a, uh, the, the energy up here on this mountain has been so incredible. So I'm really glad to introduce you to a new part of the house. And um, we'll be doing the shows from Big Al's Bar when I'm missing the lizards. Sometimes when it's really hot, we'll go back in the other room where the Matador suit is. So we're going to have a lot of locations, but this is our new studio uh, set up by Caroline, who uh, uh, it's a really good idea, and Mark Wilkinson who is Bruce's very best friend. I asked Bruce one day, my son, Caroline's husband, who's your best friend? And he said, that's got to be Mark. I said, okay. I bet okay. you were disappointed that he didn't say you, weren't you? No, I wasn't. You don't, I want uh -huh. him, I want, I, I know the relationship I have with Bruce. <laughs> I want, I want, I, you know what I love? What do you love? That Bruce doesn't need me anymore, and he's got such a full life with his family and his daughters and everything. And that's what you want as a, a parent. You want your children to, we're like, we raise them in the nest, and then we want to set them free and want them to be free. And, and, he is, and send money when they can. <laughs> he's free to live the life he's living and believe everything he believes, and I respect it. One, oh, great, Al. 100%. So anyway, this is where me and Big Al spend our life and it's we love really it. It's really fun to get a peek into yeah. this beautiful yeah. part of your home. Yeah. So say hello. Can, you have to be over here though, doesn't he? No, he's, no, right here. Oh, he's is he on it. camera? Right here, yeah. Okay, all I right. I know my place. Uh, you, okay. Yeah, okay. no, you don't. And you I, guys, you, if you want to know a secret. Yeah. Well, you know the secret. I'm going to tell them the secret. Suzanne has a favorite side. I do. Oh, yeah. yeah. This yes. is it. This is the side she likes. This is it. Yeah. And this is so my, does Barbara Streisand. Barbara Streisand has a favorite side, and this is Barbara's. So I could never do television with Barbara because we'd fight over the sides, and, and she would kill me. She would win. That woman is ferocious, yeah. So I'm not even going to go there with Barbara. Or yeah. you'd just let her have the side and be above it all. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> you get your side here. It's your house. It's my house. It's your my house. side. <laughs> and uh, doesn't Al look cute in his pink hot? Yeah. He was just sitting over here in some black and white zebra chairs with a hot pink shirt. I like creating pictures. You looked really good over there. Yeah. Well, you guys yeah. look good on the set, the pink and the green. Yeah. 
the spa behind you. Um, we do have a big sale for you guys today. Today, yep. Suzanne is going to Oh, Caroline's talk. here. She's not on the little speaker yeah, phone. You're gonna I'll drink tequila while she tells you okay, everything. Okay, me too. Yeah. We are, um, we're going to feature Suzanne Organics Cosmetics. If you're new to Suzanne's brand, um, everything she does is organic. And her makeup mm -hmm. products are just beautiful, so she's going to take you through them tonight. And we have a sale for you. It's 25% off. And the promo code is CABANA25 in honor of the new Cabana room. Where's the little... Um, uh, stick. The, the little stick were out of stock, so I took it away. Oh, it's the I was same. just looking at it because. Do any of you? Well, okay. You know, I've told you that if I wake up in the middle of the night, I put this on. <laughs> okay, call me vain. This is the light concealer. Um, uh, here's here's what I do. See, most of us pee in the middle of the night. Yeah. No, I put on a little uh, highlighter. The, the, the key to looking amazing is knowing how to light your face. The way Mark has just lit me with these beautiful lights. You can do that on your own with highlighter. Okay, so when I wake up in the middle of the night, we're all red here, right? If you notice when you wake up, you're all red and you don't know why. I'm you, dark. Uh, you're dark? You're a little red. I, okay, get, I, I have dark circles. Okay, all right, so dark circles, this will be for and also for um, anybody who's got, who's like. Like that ready. Right, and so here's what I do. The first thing I do every day is this. <laughs> and know what's nice tonight is that there will be no intruder while I'm doing a makeup tutorial. Yes. Okay, so this, this is the light, the light concealer, and I couldn't live without this. I put some down here to highlight. Why do I put it there? You know why? because uh, it makes your lower look, lip look more voluptuous. It just does. You put it down here. I put it down the side to hide those, they call them puppet lines, okay? And I put it down here, right? And then, this is a big Hollywood secret, just put a little bit down the middle of your nose. Okay, can you see how that just lit my face? Do you it see does. it? I know. Because it, you know, what, what highlighting does is it's the opposite of a hollow. So Correct. it brings that area yeah. out. So she just got rid of the hollow. I got rid of hollows. Who and, wants hollows? You know, Suzanne's Perfect Finish Concealer has organic shea butter and jojoba. It has soothing lavender and vitamin E. So it goes on really smooth. And it's got all those extra antioxidants in it. So it's actually good for your skin. Um, I want to just show you the difference between these two colors. Now the, I do what you want. Get the light, no matter what color you are. If you can swing it, get the dark also, because when you have those like horrid age spots, um, you probably want to use the darker color for the horrid age spots or the sun spots that you get on the side of your face. When we're in the car, Alan drives, so the sun comes in here, I get like some dark spots here. And um, the, I can't live without the concealer. I, I actually can't. Oh, well, I can. I can't. You don't want to, and you but don't I don't need want to. to, and I don't need to. I get it free. I'm so sorry. It's very creamy. Yeah. yeah. And it goes on. You know, Suzanne colors her products with minerals. Yeah. So I wanted to show you the difference in the colors yeah. here. This mm -hmm. is light medium, mm -hmm. and this is medium dark. Mm -hmm. So when you're trying to highlight and get something lighter, mm -hmm. um, you want to use this, depending on your skin color, obviously. And the medium dark, like I got a burn on my head. I would probably use the medium dark. Oh, it's we'll me. put it, I'm not. I'm not just a hand. Put it on. Yeah. Well, this Let's is the see. medium dark because I. Okay. Did I catch it? She. So that's more. She of, uh, smashed her forehead with the curling iron, and got a big burn spot there. But yes. now you don't see it, do you? Because it's gone. Because this is concealer. Right. The light one. Concealer. Gonna, I would use here, and I do yeah. have troublesome dark circles, so I never go without. Right. The right. perfect. Perfect finish concealer. And you might try taking some zinc. I'm just saying, but anyway. Oh, I do. Okay. Usually it's a zinc deficiency and a magnesium deficiency, but uh, if you're not taking zinc and magnesium, which I highly recommend, then also cover up the, uh, and do your highlighting with the concealer. Okay. Okay, so do you want to move to your, your foundation colors? We call it flawless finish. I never used to wear a makeup base unless I was on camera doing some kind of special and um, I like to look tan so she's going to show you the different colors well why do we call this flawless finish imagine a makeup that's good for you that has no bad stuff in it 
None of the old, the offending things in it. Certified toxic. Uh, no, these aren't certified toxic free. I'm sorry. The yeah. makeup is not. Just because they don't offer the screening. They, the, yeah, they yeah. don't. Okay. Now she's putting all four colors. It's a on. little warm here. These colors are getting a little. And I wear. I They're wear the dark loose, like my mother-in-law. <laughs> I wore the darkest <laughs> color that you like that about me, though, don't you? <laughs> I wear. I wear the darkest color we make, and. Um, you think why you're Irish and you? But I live in Southern California. Everybody's tan. I don't lie in the sun. I use our our sunless tanning uh, serum for my tan, and then I put the flawless finish on. I wear this on television. This is my this is my makeup. Okay. Now look at the colors. Okay, so this is porcelain light. Right, right. This is sand, which is a very good color. It's got you know why I like the sand. It's got a lot of yellow in it. I have a lot of yellow in my skin, so I could do very well with the sand. I could, and that, then the dark bronze. Yeah, and then this is called honey. Yeah, which, which is our actually medium tone. has yellow in it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the dark one is dark bronze. But you'd say, really, Suzanne, where's the darkest color? She, it, they blend so well with yeah. your skin tone. Yeah, you know, you'll see now when I when I blend these in as much as I can using four different fingers. Yeah. But they really do, they blend with your skin tone. They don't sit on <laughs> top of You're never going to get this off. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bowl of water here. It's good for you makeup. Yeah. Good for, think about that. Good for you makeup. Even, I don't recommend it, but there are nights you come home. You've had a really good time and gosh, the, you did it to me last night, Alan. You said, don't take your makeup off. Don't take it off. Don't take it off. And I thought, why don't you want to take my, because you know, he wanted me to like, just come to bed put his right. arms around me and taking my makeup off takes the time it takes so you know what Al what I did for you last night yeah. I didn't take my makeup off when I woke up this morning I looked like one of those skanky girls that was out on a date came home with your shoes in your hand shoes in the hand right, right. in a cocktail dress That's yeah good news. <laughs> um, guys you can have also you done that never you can also blend these. So like I tend blend to blend them. Let's show it. I tend to kind of rock between these two colors yeah. depending if it's summer yeah, it's or not. It's not all about one color. Yeah, Look so at that. I usually get two and then I oh. kind of create my own color with that. Oh. Oh. So I mean obviously I have yeah. way more on here than you would Yeah, use on but your face, nice. but, it, but good so you can see the colors. Yeah. There. Yeah. And Isn't that interesting to have everyday cleanser. If you only buy this from me, this everyday cleanser, you know, at night, what? It had, I don't know why he didn't want me to take my makeup off last night because it doesn't take long. I take the everyday cleanser and I put it all over my face and on my eyes, and re, it removes my mascara, it removes everything. And you think, ooh, no, there's no chemicals in it, so it doesn't sting or burn or make yeah. my eyes blurry. Look at that. Look at this. That's everyday cleanser. It really works. It's olive based, it's loaded with um, just beautiful emollients and. Uh, Mm. And, you, and there's like a, isn't that beautiful? You have beautiful skin. You're Thank so you. pretty. But look how quickly that comes. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah. that's it. Yeah, I know. But it's what happens, you know, Suzanne doesn't use any artificial colors. She doesn't use any artificial fragrance. So the products are loaded with yep. botanical actives that make your skin feel great. Yes. Um, the Flawless yes. Foundation has <laughs> aloe leaf jupe, juice, jojoba, or grape jupe, seed, or jupe. <laughs> Grape aloe seed leaf jupe. <laughs> Do you have any aloe leaf jupe, Val? There it is. Uh, yeah. We, we, uh, we have some in the refrigerator. Aloe leaf jupe? <laughs> that was a great demo. You have a jupe yeah. Bug. The, yeah. 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 Okay, now, you after, you, after you get your concealer on, and then first you put your flawless finish, or you can put the concealer on and put the flawless finish over it. I do it both ways. Some days, some days I put the flawless finish makeup on, and and then I put the uh, concealer on top of it. But I always find throughout the day I add a little more of the concealer to keep the lights going. Okay, and then, and then you gotta like blend it with powder and hmm. Well, I couldn't look cuter, huh? <laughs> you were certainly says the 74 year old egotistical mother-in-law I'm always joking when I say stuff like that okay you know what I love about our powder there's no glue in it do you think I even should have to be able to say that the reason it that they put glue in it is so that it's pressed powder 
It's pressed with glue. Mm -hmm. Ours is made with tapioca powder. Yeah, or petroleum they use. And petroleum. Look at this coverage. Nice, huh? Yeah. Nice. This is sand. Yeah. So then Suzanne's powder, this is light medium, and this is medium dark. So and then here's the, the uh, one that you bronzer. Like. I, 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 you just see, I, I put the darker one on. Look at that. Look at her arms. You could go yeah. out with your arms could, all made yeah. up like that. Just so you can see. Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it covers the eight, the little age spots and things. She doesn't even know what age spots are yet, but I, oh, we do. I know. I have my share. Yeah. Yeah. I have my share. Yeah. What I love about the concealer also is because I've had to be on medication this year because of my broken neck and spine. Um, you're uh, and a lot I take a lot a lot of fish oil because I want to keep my blood flowing great but you bruise easily the concealer hides those spots mm, yeah yeah that's a big deal so this is the product that Suzanne was talking about mm -hmm. is her bronzer which mm -hmm. she also uses mm -hmm. as a um, contour mm -hmm. do you want to contour I will okay when I contour I go up here and down here and down here Mm. Well, so this I, desert shimmer, you can use this to get a little bit of color, a little yeah. bit of like sun kiss color. Yeah. But like Suzanne's doing, you use it as your as, contour. So you've got your highlighter and then your contour. So the highlighter is where you want things to come out, and the contour is where you want things to recede. So yes. like, if I want more of a like, you don't color. want your hair to recede, but yeah. you want your <laughs> but you but that's the how, color on your face to that's recede. That's how Zanny taught us that this goes in the hollow. Yeah, yeah. So then it recedes. Yeah. When she I says Zanny, that. that's me, Suzanne. My grandchildren call me Zanny. Okay. Oh, go. I think you should always wear makeup on your arms. Look like, how I mean, beautiful. Look at, that. look at how beautiful. Yeah, I mean, without the line, I like, know. You can see I the know. difference. It's, I know. I know. Although your Italianness, you don't really need to do that, but we Irish people. Okay, now, then there's the multi stick. And that's kind of a cool thing for like highlighting. I like to like just put a little here like that and like Cheeks, that. Cheeks, lips, eyes. Mm -hmm. it's, I love that color. Mm -hmm. And um, I like to put this all over Alan. Don't you love it, Alan? Yeah. When I put the multi stick on you, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll take you through Suzanne's blushes and lipsticks. Most of them have matching. And can I just colors. say something about this? You know, you're not going to see makeup like this in magazines because if they tout the benefits of organic makeup, then that that means that all the other stuff isn't organic. And if this is the best to use organic, does that mean all the other stuff isn't the best? So. Magazines um, don't welcome me, and we don't have the kind of advertising dollars that the big companies would have. We're a small company, and that's what I like about what we do. Well, but you know, when you realize things like a lot of the conventional products are still using dyes and Terrible. additives and lead, Terrible. And things that have been banned in the food supply because the FDA banned them for the food supply, they didn't ban them for cosmetics, so the conventional companies are still using them. But Suzanne is like, why would I put lead in our lipstick? That's crazy. When, when you, a lifetime of using lipstick with lead and you re reapply and reapply throughout the day, lead accumulates in your bones. That's where it goes. Because the, the liver goes, I don't know what to do with this. And the rest of the body goes, I don't know what to do with this. Well, let's stick it in the bones. It's got a little space there. When you get older and uh, women fall or break a bone or break a hip. It's usually a hip. They usually fall and break a hip. What happens is all that lead in the bones, in that hip, releases now into the bloodstream. Oh, great. And when it releases into the bloodstream, it goes, I don't know where to go. You know where I'd like to go? I'll go up to the brain. And it makes its way through the bloodstream because it wants to go for the fattiest organ in the body, and that's the brain. Now, when that, when that lead gets up there along with other chemicals, the, the brain, the hypothalamus with the pituitary as the functionary, um, has to shrink to make room for the lead and the chemicals. The more lead that you let into your um, uh, body and the more chemicals you let into your body, the more your hypothalamus, your brain, needs to shrink. 
Is it any wonder we have an epidemic with brain issues? Not only for older people with dementia and Alzheimer's, but what about the younger people with ADHD and ADD and uh, dyslexia and dyspraxia and all these OCD, all these things that their little bodies have been exposed to the chemicalization of us and it's not going well. And so when I talk about um, chemical free makeup and clean makeup and makeup that's good for you, what I'm saying is I'm not putting anything on myself and if you use this product that can accumulate and eventually later on harm you. And uh, I yeah, think these are these are she uses cranberries and yeah. oranges for color. You know, cranberries and oranges. Minerals. Yeah. You have yeah. an option to use yeah. healthier items and that's what Suzanne has done for us. Yeah. So um, factor that in. I, I, this is the only makeup I use and I think I look nice and I have a lot more to hide than a lot of you because I'm probably older than most of you now. There, how about you who are my age? There's a time when we always were the youngest one in the room, remember that? And now I'm the oldest one in the room, but you know what? I like it. It's still the hottest. I, <laughs> says the daughter-in-law. But she is, seriously. <laughs> I, I, you know why? Because I'm not all chemicaled. And so my brain is working right. And when your brain's working right and you reach your 70s, uh, your wisdom can pour. But if your brain is all screwed up and clogged up with chemicals, that wisdom can't uh, operate at max. And so I find I say things now at this age where I go afterwards, hmm, actually that was really interesting because it's my wisdom talking, not so much me, and it's because I'm not all chemicaled up. I just thought you'd find that interesting. Is that a benefit of, of uh, non-toxic, organic, chemical-free color cosmetics? Yeah, yeah, along with Everyday Cleanser and all the other cosmetic products that um, we offer you. I'm so proud of our products. I was out with a woman last night. Actually, I was out with, oh, Bruce should know this, he will go crazy with Steve Garvey and his wife Candace, who oh, I love. Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey was the Baseball Hall of Famer. And, you know, life is so interesting. I, 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 I said something so stupid last night. We were with another couple, and they were mentioning. I said to him, ah, you look a little tired today. Did you play golf? And he said, I played nine holes. I said, isn't, he said, no, I just played nine holes. I said, here's where I'm stupid. How many holes are there in golf? And both Steve Garvey and this guy looked at me and said, <laughs> 18. <laughs> I didn't know. I've never played golf. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So while Suzanne's well, giving you that done. talk, yeah. I did a color palette on my arm look so you her. can see all of her colors. Yeah. This color is Honey Glow. So it has the lipstick and the blush. And you can see they're mm -hmm. really neutral. They're like mm -hmm. nudes. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They really blend into your skin tone. This is Berry Pop. And that's the Berry like, Pop blush. Yeah. This is Antique Rose, so if you like that very mad, muted That looks palette, good on you, and with your italian this, yeah. This is Suzanne's color, Caramelized Peach, and love the Caramelized it. Peach Blush. I love Caramelized Peach. You can see, peach. there it is. And then this last one here is Garnet, and it's very hard to do red and organic, yep. when because we don't have red dye number two. Um, How about that? Yeah, and, and no lead. And no lead. So beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. There's something for everyone because they're all very neutral. They match a lot of skin tones. Which one is this? Uh, honey Glow. Honey Glow. Yeah. This one. Whatever color you get, Honey Glow is good to like do your highlighting. I always say put, a, put the lightest color right on the lower part of your lip. And mm -hmm. that's, that's more of the highlighting so that when you put the, con oh, I'm sorry, okay. the concealer here, and then the highlighter on the lower lip, you look like you've had, you know, fillers put in your lips, but you haven't. It's natural. And it looks so much better. I, I think. would also say if you tend to like the earthier, warmer tones, mm -hmm. um, like Suzanne, try the caramelized peach. We also have a color called Coral Crush. Yes. I don't have a sample of the lipstick. Yeah, um, so but it's I great. I wasn't sure we were out of it. But again, goes more in that warm, peachy, yeah. Yeah. Um, more of the the warmer family. If you're olive toned like I am, like I do really well with the berry pop um, and the antique rose, oh, you can, I have the berry pop on. And then we blend. We blend, mm -hmm. me and Carolina. Well, if you look at my children, they're kind of half me and half you. I mean, they're half Bruce. I saw, I saw, I saw that. They look like you and me. I saw that in a picture of me today. I was looking at it 
And I thought, you remove the blonde hair and there's Violet. I know. Wow, I was really surprised about mm -hmm. that. Okay, so those are all So the Al, you're gonna come over and say hello to the girls and guys. Certainly. Come, on, come over and be Big Al. We, um, he got a little scolding for last week um, on the uh, sperm show. <laughs> where he was like bad boy Al and um, come around this way they so, yeah okay uh, the promo code tonight is Cabana 25 for 25% yeah. off at Suzanne Summers so what .com. what was it with this firm show what what was well your... you know we you were talking about the fact that the sperm count in Sweden had gone down dropping. Oh, we're, gonna, we're gonna do it again huh? yeah uh -huh. it, it's dropping I didn't bring this up okay <laughs> Mm -hmm. My wife asked me about the sperm yeah, count. Yeah, okay? yeah, uh -huh. So I started thinking about it. How do you count sperm? Uh, because there are millions of them, and yeah. they're all swimming around. Yeah. How do you count, like, if a fish is swimming? How do you do that? I don't know, Al. Well. So I had this picture of, like, a thousand guys wearing white doctor coats mm -hmm. sitting in a Counting. room. And they divvy up one donor's, uh, you know, sperm. Yeah. And they oh, all, what a great afternoon. Yeah, mm -hmm. they all count yeah. it and then they put it yeah. together. Yeah. How else would they do it? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. No, so we're anyway. I was going to say, we really like your new bar, Al. Big Al's Bar. Yeah, this is it great. It's really good. <laughs> this is great. I just uh, felt the cool air come in. Yeah, it's me very, too. yeah, it's very warm in the desert now. Now we're going into the heat. The heat. Even uh, the animals on the property yeah, are going. Instagram, <sighs> hang out with us for a sec. We're we're low on battery here, so we're already. Wow. Yeah, the Instagram battery. Wow, battery. Mark, is that like typical that it would run out that fast? Were you guys at full speed? Uh, I don't know. At full charge. <laughs> I don't I know. We started with it. I don't know. Was, was it your, full? Was your phone uh, fully charged? Uh huh. Uh huh. And my phone was fully charged. Mm -hmm. Okay, how's that? Is it coming back, Instagram? Um. Catherine Frizzle said, lol, Al is so funny. See? So cute. <laughs> See that? Yeah. There are other people interested in sperm counts. I'm not the only one. I know. I yeah. know. Well, it just goes to show, we did fix Facebook, you guys. I, think, I, I haven't heard anyone having issues on Facebook. Our Sound, is, yeah. Instagram we have microphones so now, yeah. So if you uh, are watching on Instagram and you're cutting out, hop over to Facebook. You don't have to have an account. Just go to Suzanne Summers' no, page. No, And you can watch. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay, it's coming back. Okay, all okay, right. Okay, good. There we go. We just needed... It was just a battery thing. thing. You know, yeah. I think I think uh, we what do you lost. Think? What do you I think, think we lost Instagram the moment I walked into the shot. I understand and, that. And why okay. do you think that is, Al? I, I have a magnetic uh, aspect uh, to my body. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. You sure do. No, you do. I have a magnetic thing going. You do. And I'm very dangerous when I, I used to walk into videotape editing. Uh huh. And what rooms. would happen, Al? The, is this Al lying? It might no, be Al lying. No, it's true. Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, I was with Al, what's his name? Al, who, I don't know. like, yeah. I don't Al, know. Al, oh God, I can't Please. remember his last name. And we were editing, and I walk into the editing room, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, the machine started eating the tape. Oh, oh. And that's not the first time, okay? Oh, I'm so sorry. And one of the reasons I'm fearful of flying is because this magnetic thing, you know, could... You've got this magnetism. Whoops. Sorry. Oh. Uh-oh. We talked, uh, we have to call them back, um, Don Gold and Susie. Yeah. Uh, we talked to, you don't even know who, but Don Gold may be watching because he said that I he watches. Don I love Don Gold. And the night that Bruce um, had his accident, um, it was Don Gold and Jack Hansen that came and sat with me at the hospital. So I always, I always have, and then you worked with Don Gold and so there was this serendipitous thing. Yeah. You don't even know what I'm talking about. It doesn't no. matter. It's just that I know doesn't that he, Don said he watches yeah. the show. So if you're watching the show, I just we didn't get to finish our conversation because I had a um, we had a three hour phone consult with Dr. Wright. You know, medicine has uh, progressed in the alternative and integrative world so uh, incredibly, and so we both did a 24 hour urine. A hormone profile. It means you have to urinate for 20 24 hours. hours. Every time you pee, you each get your own orange jug and you pee oh, in your I jug. Oh, I thought you had to do it continuously for 24 hours. Yeah, in your own jug. And I just kept drinking more and more oh, water oh. until it was, it was coming out as quickly as it was yeah. going. So I shouldn't have done that? No, that's all right. 
because oh, okay. your body wants to yeah. re record everything. Okay. And so then um, I then have Dr. Wright order those things and then you set up your appointment. And it's not cheap, but in the big picture, it's worth every penny. And he goes over every single hormone and every level of every he's nutrient, a, he's every a mis walking mineral. He's an, yeah, incredible. Yeah. And the two of us spent three hours on the phone with him, and it was kind of magnificent. Yeah, and by the way, by the way, mm -hmm. if you're interested, uh, Dr. Jonathan Wright is in Tukwila, yeah. Washington. Yeah. There's another Jonathan Wright yeah. in, in Washington weird? somewhere who's a eye yeah. doctor. That's not the one. So he's not in Tahoma anymore? I think Tuckwilla. Did he move? I think so. Tuckwilla. I don't know, but they say right. Tuckwilla. W R I G H T. Yeah. I always say Dr. Wright, who's always right. He and is. those of you who've read my Excuse books, me. those of you who have read my books, he's been in. I include him in most of my medical books. Okay, here comes the quad. If you see, I've got a bit of. This is kind Golden of, Shimmer. I, quad. Okay, right. Do you see my golden shimmer up here? I just—it's just, it's just oh, subtle, yeah, it's so but it's sort of—it's nice, isn't it? Again, it, all mineral it makes your eyes pop. This is Suzanne's metallic right. uh, palette, and it's—they're all mineral-based colors mm -hmm, here. So you mm -hmm. can use this in the crease. Mm -hmm. You can use this as the highlighter. You can use these for blending. Mm -hmm. So pretty. You can yeah. go day to night on this. Oh, our mascara doesn't have glue in it. You know when you try to get your mascara off at night and it's hard and it kind of sticks? You know why? Because that mascara had glue in it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Well, that's that's what, what builds the lashes, but yeah. it's glue. Glue. What have we bought into? That's, that's, that's what I think about a lot. Like, what have we bought into? So anyway, that's why I don't do makeup tutorials very often, but when I do them, I just want you to know why we decided to go into the color cosmetics business because... This so is what I. The conventional stuff. This is what I was looking for, and I, I'm trying to avoid chemicals as best I can. I'll say it again: we're under the greatest environmental assault in the history of humanity, and only you can change that paradigm by the choices that you make. We are a result of the choices we make every day, good and bad. At night, get into bed and make an imaginary list in your head and put a line down. On one side is. What were the choices you made today that led you towards good health? And what were the choices you made today that took you uh, away from good health into the wrong direction? You will be so shocked to see how many bad choices we all make every day. So with makeup here, these are all good choices. The uh, skincare line here, all good choices. The household cleaning products, all good choices. I don't know if you've try tried our uh, Suzanne Organic Spot Remover. Oh, yes, I can't live without that. I can't live without It's a little pricey, but it's concentrate, and you put one teaspoon into the bottle we send you and then fill it with water, and it lasts forever. Mm -hmm. And I had, you know, those of you who have a cat, there's a downside to having a cat. They throw up. What's the sound, Al? It's National Pet Day. What a great day to be talking yeah. about. Yeah, what's the sound birth? of cats at night? <laughs> And it wakes us both up, and here's the noises Al and I make. We go, uh, be careful when you get out of bed. It's either on your side or my side is icky. So the other night, she threw up on my side, and luckily I missed it. I, the moment I see it, if it's the middle of the night, I throw a piece of Kleenex over it so I see that white. But the next day, um, and it was on a pillow, and yeah, I could wash the pillow, but I wanted to get it all off. It was icky. I put this spot remover on it, and then I walked into the other room and got a cloth to wipe it up. Came in, wiped it up, gone, gone, absolutely gone, and without chemicals, and there's no toxic spray and chemical spray in, in the uh, room. Al is a delicate flower. Al cannot handle toxins. And that's the good news and the bad news. The good news is that when we are in a room that's been sprayed with some kind of artificial air fresher, freshener or something like that. He starts, his face starts spasming and I realize I gotta get him out of here. That's the good news because we get away from all the chemicals because his body, his eyes, his, his being cannot handle it. And um, I notice he never has it at home when, because all we clean with is our Suzanne Organics. 
we use the regular cleaner and then we use the spot remover for the more difficult things. Again, if you spray, like the other night, I was um, uh, doing something with butter, that truffle butter I was making, and I don't know, I'm, I leaned in and my boob got in it. You know, our boobs are these things that are in the way all the time, and I had a big grease spot on my boob. I put the spot remover on it, and then I put it in the wash, and the next day it came back, gone, gone, gone. So great. So you guys on Instagram, I know you were having trouble hearing. We, we were listening, and um, I was trying to switch a few things. So we tried going off and coming back on. I hope that helps. If not, please go to Facebook. Remarkably, Facebook is the one working better today. Um, this is what happens when we try to switch. We, we do a little better in one, and we work out the challenge in yeah. the other. So here are some of the colors that we were talking about with Suzanne for her cosmetics. And what um, is this lipstick? If you, if you joined us late, this is the lipstick and blush, oh. Honey Glow, very neutral, very youthful here's, and pretty. Here's the Honey Glow. Just can you see? Go hold this up to them. Look at that color. Can you? Is it registering what, where you're looking? It's so it's, right. It's beautiful. It's so right. Mm. And yeah. then this here is the Berry Pop, mm. which is a little deeper. Oh. And then this is the Antique Rose, which is a neutral palette. So if you like that, that neutral look, um, that's the Antique Rose, one of our best sellers. This is the Caramelized Peach, which we always sell out of because it's Suzanne's favorite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And last year is the Garnet, which has the most red in it. And it's very difficult to do red in organic. And then here we have some of this uh, Suzanne's Essential Quad Eyeshadow. In okay. Golden shimmer. When you when you use the essential quad, let me show you. Take the darkest one here, and go in through the corner here and bring it around, and then take the dark color and bring it out to the side there. And that way, and then you bring it down on either side of your nose, which you already shaded with your highlighter. If you have a larger nose, you can make your nose smaller by just going across the bottom. And uh, do you see what that does? It creates, oh, yeah, creates the shading that you'd pay thousands of dollars. My makeup artist in the 70s, Bjorn, for Three's Company, Bjorn, sweet, sweet guy, one of the first people I knew who died of AIDS. I don't know about you, but in the 70s and 80s, I, uh, 70s and 80s I went to funerals, either for friends of mine who were in the Vietnam War or, or friends of mine who died of AIDS. But anyway, Bjorn understood shading better than anybody. And the first time he did me, he said, baby, he always talked like that. And I said, yeah. He said, Chrissy Snow should have snow white hair and dark eyes and big pink chip cheeks and big pink <laughs> lips. And I said, let's do it. So that's who took my hair from blonde and made it Chrissy Snow White. And then he gave me the dark shadow eye tips and then the, the hot pink lips, uh, cheeks and the hot pink lips. And I, you can see from year one to year two, I hate when they do retrospectives of me and they take uh, clips from the first year because I hadn't quite figured out Chrissy Snow. Year two, bam, did I get her. I totally, Suddenly my posture went into a different place. I, I was her. I would morph into her. I could morph into her right now if you want me to, so but I, I, I save it. Yeah. Okay, now she's got the, every, get the everyday cleanser. So everyday good. cleanser. Yeah, so good. Okay, now we're going to take so all this gentle. off. She doesn't use any um, olive synthetic based. sudsing no. agents. So she uses coconut cleansers and yep. olive base. Yeah. And look how beautifully and quickly this cleans up. Beautiful. Beautiful. So no makeup remover, no eye makeup no. remover, even lipstick. And eliminates um, a couple of steps because when you, like last night when Alan said, don't wash your face, but really it's fast because I just do this. I, I, I don't have to do a second thing from my eyes to get my eye makeup off because the everyday cleanser takes it all off. It's, it's kind of amazing. And if you can swing it, get That's the toner because the toner, the toner is made yeah, from so aloe like vera, um, uh, oh, I'm trying to think of the different things that are... Willow leaf. Willow leaf, that's right. And what that does, because there's no witch hazel and no alcohol in it, and usually toner is about tightening, we do a different theory where you put the toner on and it opens the pores, and that way the pores are ready to receive 
the everyday serum, the liquid oxygen, the wonderful things that we put in there that all ends up in your bloodstream and it's good for you. Good for you cosmetics, good for you makeup. Mm -hmm. I love the whole concept of what and we what are doing. What about Suzanne's mascara here? Which no is glue. so silky. Yeah, no glue. So beautiful and it's got aloe leaf yep. and aloe and cocoa butter. Yep. So you put this on in and some black let stuff. it dry. Yeah, and minerals. Yeah. Yeah. Minerals, no dyes. Yeah. Your eyes no don't get glue. Irritated. No glue. No glue. I can't believe we put glue in. I can't believe we've been putting lead on our lips and glue, glue on our eyelashes. And, and petroleum then, and to put, set the powders. And, and petroleum. I, I, what we all bought into, because we all thought, and I've said this many times, if they're selling it, it must be safe. Well... I'm learning that it's not quite true. And what I love is bringing you good for you cosmetics, good for you skincare, and good for you household cleaning products. I'm really proud of it. If that was my mission in life, I, then I, I can uh, feel very self-satisfied. <laughs> I thought you were gonna straighten it. No, Caroline's coming over here with some. asking to see Alan, so I'm gonna bring Alan to you. Oh. Oh. It's a retrospective oh. of Alan Hamill. My husband was the Johnny Carson of Canada. He was the most famous man in Canada. You Canadians. Here's Alan. This was the cover of McLean's Mark, magazine. Can you check the shot in my hand? This was the cover of McLean's magazine, the biggest the magazine in Canada. Yeah, Go down and this is my down. husband in bed with two or three women and yeah. another guy. And it, he did the late. The, he was the uh, the first guy who did the Saturday Night Live kind of shows. And in fact, Lorne Michaels, who eventually did uh, Saturday Night Live, hung around Alan's set, kind of looking at the ideas. But pretty cool. There's my You're husband. For you, Alan. Come here, Alan. That was my stand-in yeah. until he. Isn't that great? Honestly, when I met him uh, 54 years ago. I was so taken, I couldn't believe he asked me out. Honestly, I couldn't. I, and that's, I'm sorry, but that's why I slept with him on the first date. I thought, I never, may never get another chance. And I'm glad I did. And I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> but yep. I hear all these years later that you were that smitten with me. It took me a couple of days. You 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 called your mother that day. I call I called said, my mother. I, the, I said I met the mother. I I'm, met who I'm going to marry. I met the mother. I'm going to marry. Yeah. Yeah. It took me a couple of days. Yeah. Yeah. My first reaction was confusion. Why? Because you might feel real feelings for someone. No, no. I like feeling real feelings. But no. maybe you didn't then, and, and you felt them with me, and it like, oh God, if I feel real feelings, I may have to commit. Well, I, I had met a number of young women in my life. You had. And I hadn't felt that kind of oh. thing. All right. Okay? I'm feeling special now. So I was confused by now it. Now I'm starting to feel special because okay. you don't like to think that your husband met a bunch of them. They're all cool. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I was next in line and you're all right. So no. let's go there. Right? No. Was that no. that? No, it wasn't that at all. My dress is sort of. Your dress is very cool. Yeah, you look so pretty. No, the women in my life. Tell me about the women. No, don't tell me about the women. No, you don't want to know about You know the women. thing, the difference between you and me is that I was married at 18. I was divorced at 20, and then I met you. There's hardly anyone else. Oh, there have been a few. Very few. Yeah. I think I oh. know all of them, too. Yeah, and you still don't like them. No, I don't. Talk about. Yeah, I don't like them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think we were out when we were out with the Garveys last night. They're so in love. Yeah. I love being out with couples who are in love. It, it's at this stage of life, it's just easier when you're out with couples. If you're with your single women friends, that's a whole other thing, and that's great too. Yeah. Well, but the couples, I I can I can no longer be around toxicity, and couples that are angry with one another and everything the other one says they take offense to and then they have those little moments and I can't be around that. Well, we know a couple like that but we yeah. like them so much. Yeah that we go. And they're actually they love each other. Yeah. And uh, but they, I wish they need some therapy to like get over that. Yeah. Yeah I agree. Yeah. Yeah. We're we also going to need therapy after Suzanne Summers on 
on her Facebook Live, told everyone they need therapy and they realized it was about them. <laughs> what did I miss? Well, well, in therapy you learn what's the part you played in this. And whatever... I don't even, I don't even know who you're talking about. So. Whatever our issues are in life, uh, we all each play a part in it. So it's never all his fault. It's never all my fault. It's what did we both bring to the table. There is nothing, I say this over and over again, there is nothing, nothing more healing than a true heartfelt apology. Like this one. I'm really Oh, this is so phony. Sorry. This is not heartfelt. That's just, I'm you know really what? It's a good thing you're on camera, host kind of guy, because you're not a good actor. <laughs> you're actually a lousy I, actor. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, you are. You are. No. You overact and you, um, you, you, know, you don't got, believe it when this. you say it. I got paid for years acting. No, okay? as a host. No, host schmoes. I was acting. You think I'm a no, host and laying in bed no, with those you women? you are a natural host. What? You're a natural host. You're so good. You're Johnny Carson. Johnny, yeah, but you I've and, acted. And you were Johnny Carson before Johnny Carson. And, I and was, I, no. And very, was, oh, very, yeah, very few too, yeah. um, Well, Johnny people, Carson was doing I, I, a game amen. show. When I was doing my show, he was, and he was he doing was? a game show in New York. Ah, called. Thank you. Uh, it was either called uh, Who Do You Trust or Do You Trust Your Wife? I can't remember. One of those. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Are you, are you okay? Well, somehow you yeah, water. figured it out, all out. And I would we like did. to say, Aorta Simon on Instagram said, I know you're doing beauty, but the Gut Renew smoothies are the best ever, and the Echo Cleaner is the best ever. Thank you. Thank you. I yeah. agree. Uh, we have our we had our gut uh, smoothie this morning. I love it. I, I, yeah. like, I can't wait. I get it at nine o'clock. I can't wait to have well, it. Well, we power day. it up with that new product, uh, immune. What is it called? We put the immune powder immune in support. with it. Yeah, immune, immune support. support. You yeah. might think about the immune support because it's zinc and C and things that in today's environment you might want to load up on. Zinc. Also, also zinc is so important. Yeah, Caroline uh, mentioned we're about halfway through our inventory. It's yeah. going very yeah. quickly. Yeah. I urge you if you bloat, if you're constipated, if you got Anything happening in and your gut? Just like gut, to hear this from Al, do. if you're all bloated uh -huh. and constipated, yeah. right? Everybody has something wrong with their gut. Mm -hmm. Try mm -hmm. it. What do you mm -hmm. got to lose? And if you don't like it, send it back. Yeah, and and the gut renew is vegan. And if someone was asking about the cosmetics are also vegan. There's no animal testing. Right. They're all made in America. They are made in organic. America. They are made with God bless America. Minerals and the colors come from minerals and cranberries and oranges and nature yep. and there are additional antioxidants put into the product so that they're actually good and nutritious for your skin. She uses coconut to mm -hmm. press her powders, yep. not petroleum. She good for you makeup. She doesn't have in the lipsticks. It's, they're phenomenal. Good for you makeup. You know that, that uh, you know when you when I used to hear uh, no animal testing mm -hmm. and I would have this vision uh, of, of know, testing else? cosmetics yeah. like lipstick yeah. and putting lipstick on a rabbit. A little bunny rabbit? Oh, usually they say lipstick on a pig. Lips on a pig, yeah. Yeah, right. No, but I thought if you're testing, if it's animal testing, uh -huh. okay, you don't want to hurt the animal. No. You just put a little lipstick on their little lips. Okay. okay. And a little shading on their cheeks, okay? And a little thing down the middle of their nose. Yeah. That's okay, so that could be really cute. Yeah. Remember yes, we, the products are group of Sort of useless information, but kind well, of we, we used to have, remember we used to have pets? We used to have uh, bunny rabbit pets. Yes. And we had one. Sammy. Sammy. Yeah. We happened to, we, this was when we were living on our uh, little ranch in Nevada. That was a good, and we were gone another for, great phase of our life. Yeah. We We've were had gone such for a great five life. days. Yeah. And what we didn't know was that Sammy got uh -huh. locked in the house. Yeah. Normally Sammy would be in this courtyard with all the other little bunny rabbits. Mm -hmm. But he got locked in our house for five days. Five. And when we came back, we opened the door. And Sammy took off like a rocket to the place where Sammy she, poops. Where she, where she poops, and she didn't poop in the house or pee in the for house. For five or anything. days. Yeah, that five was a days. good little rabbit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Audrey, these products do not have sunscreen in them, um, but Suzanne has a tinted sunscreen that should be coming out by the summer. Yeah, you'll love it. You'll love it. I, I know what we want, right? Yes. So we feel like we're coming sort of to the end of the show, right? Yeah, we are, we are, it's 5.51. So. All right. Wow. Well, 
I think we've talked about everything we're going to talk about here tonight. Yeah, and, and um, uh, if you guys I, want to jump in, it's 25% off at SuzanneSummers.com on all the cosmetics. The promo code is Cabana25, and how great that you all joined us in Suzanne and Alan's Love you all Cabana so round. much, yeah. But also, before we go, yeah. if you're going to buy the Gut Renew, whether the Gut Renew, just buy the, the bag of yeah, Gut Renew, right. or the Gut Renew 30-Day Challenge, we have two kits made up for you. Do it. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Do it. Just yeah. do it. Yeah. Do you want to poof and a lot? If you don't, and if you don't like it, <laughs> send it back. We've had nothing but incredible testimonials. Well, because everybody complains them. about everybody. they can't poop. Everybody. And it's not a laxative or anything. Yeah. It's just that as it, it it heals your gut lining, then the flow begins, and the yeah. flow that is is responsible for the fact that you're constipated eases up and you just you just feel better but you also, all know that you know, yeah also i lost three notches on my belt ah i noticed tonight my belt was a little loose so yeah. who knows who knows thank you for coming thank you for coming to yeah. our new set and we'll see you again on what's today what today's friday today? we're back on, no today's monday, today's Mo monday. oh we're back on Wednesday. Okay, I'll see you Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay. Oh, Suzanne's in the kitchen Wednesday. I'm going to cook okay. for you. I'm yes. going to make you something really good. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.